हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फेशियल पॉलिसी और बेल्स पॉलिसी व्हिच इज क्वाइट कॉमन कंडीशन सो इन बेल्स पॉलिसी व्हाट हैपेंस इज द फेशियल मसल्स ऑन वन साइड दे बिकम वीक सो बिफोर दिस वीकनेस ऑफ द फेशियल मसल्स बिगिन सम पीपल मे हैव पेन व्हिच स्टार्ट्स बिहाइंड द ईयर और इन द नेक मसल्स और इन द फेस सो द पेन मे लास्ट फॉर वन और टू और थ्री डेज and then suddenly the weakness of the facial muscles start it is more common that only one side of the face gets affected but in some patients both the sides may get affected and the common symptoms you could notice is that there may be difficulty in closing the eye so if you ask them to close the eyes one eye closes other eye doesn't close and then when they are brushing the teeth it may have difficulty in on uh, brushing on one side if they drink water or food it may be difficult to chew on the affected side and there may be dribbling of water or saliva or food from one angle of the mouth and when they smile or ask them to show the teeth so the symmetry of the face is lost and the face may deviate to one side the normal side of the face it may pull the angle of the mouth so these are some of the symptoms that can be noted all of a sudden and mostly you know people notice in the evenings uh, when they wash their face before sleeping or when they get up in the morning and try to wash the face or brush brush their teeth that's the time they notice or very often the attendants or the family members of friends they may notice that your know, face looks little crooked or you know there is no symmetry and then they notice in some people there could be loss of taste also on the affected side because the same facial lobe also affects also supplies the taste sensations in the anterior the front two thirds of the tongue and one rare symptom can be what is called as press by acquis acquis so where a small or you know light sound also can be heard as very loud noise so these are some of the common symptoms and then with these symptoms when you consult a doctor it is fairly easy to diagnose the condition based on the clinical symptoms only very rarely it can be also because of the blood clot in the brain or brain stroke where along with the facial weakness there could be slurring of the speech or mild weakness of the hand so when the additional symptoms are there or you know sometimes in the facial paralysis upper and lower half of the face both are affected if only the lower half is affected upper half is not affected it could mean a problem in the brain so the doctor may decide to do a brain scan you know depending on the symptoms now once the diagnosis is made how do we proceed so treatment is fairly easy the cornerstone of the treatment is uh, steroids and they reduce the inflammation in the nerve and along with this antiviral drugs like acyclovir is also effective and short course of these two medications are given and then the doctors may give vitamins for the nerve regeneration along with the medications there is a role of physiotherapy where various types of exercises for the uh, facial muscle strengthening will be taught and also galvanic stimulation where the facial nerve is stimulated that also is helpful so with these kind of treatment outcome is fairly good almost 75% of people recover in 3 to 4 weeks and the remaining patients may recover in 2 to 3 months very few that is less than 5% people may not recover completely with medical treatment and then they have the option of uh, cosmetic surgeries and various other surgeries but that's only in the less than 5% of people and uh, what is the underlying cause for this so it can affect it can happen in anyone usually younger people even children can be affected more common in diabetics and in pregnancy even in the postpartum period it can happen and uh, sometimes the presumed cause is thought to be viral infections like herpes virus or other viruses we also saw covid-19 infection causing bell's palsy or facial uh, paralysis and many times we can't identify which virus has caused and the only virus which can be treated is herpes so acyclovir is given for that purpose so so I, we have seen that it uh, you know it can be little more common in the monsoons on the winter season but as such the cases can happen any season of the year so it's not that only in the and but people say you know when i slept in the ac or when the when they were exposed to cool air while uh, traveling at nights uh, so you know they are more prone to get it that time but you know it can happen without that also basically it's a virus infection so it can uh, happen at any situation the importance is the important thing is to recognize the symptoms and consult a doctor and start treatment within 72 hours and that is when the chances of recovery is the highest and uh, there is no restriction you can have any kind of food and uh, one can drive also one can go to office also only thing is people who notice 
uh, your face they may ask questions what happened to your face and things like that so that kind of anxiety should be avoided and also one more uh, important point to highlight is the eyes don't close on the affected side so there can be dryness of the eyes so for that lubricants or eye drops may be used and during the sleep one can use adhesive to temporarily close the eye during nights to protect the eye and in very severe cases of facial paralysis uh, is procedure called as tarsography may be done where the, the ophthalmologist stitches the eyelids and then once the recovery occurs then the st stitches can be removed so eye care is important in a person with facial paralysis so i hope you have learned uh, about the facial paralysis what is also called as bell's palsy and then you are not scared of it and then if you can diagnose early and get it treated early the outcome can be excellent so please like and share this video post your comments or queries and also subscribe to this channel to watch more similar video in the future thank you